Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I call you my friends and I've never seen you. Some of you have never seen you. You've never seen me and all that stuff. But that's the beauty of technology. We all are friends and we meet together. And by the way, we might even be Facebook friends or Twitter friends or uh, whoever it is, friends and so on. But we meet here in this virtual world. This one is like a virtual world for us and we meet here and we spar one another to growth. This podcast spars us to growth in terms of purpose, productivity, and in terms of resilience. And we deploy this using different topics, different series of messages, and we go into them. And we've talked about leadership, we've talked about apathy, we've talked about success. Today we're continuing the third uh, episode in the series. We're talking about street smartness. Uh, given a choice between being street smart and being book smart, w- what would you choose? And that's what we started talking about yesterday. But we're talking about street smartness. And later on, we're going to be talking about how to raise street smart children. Because I don't need to tell you how to raise book smart children. You're already doing it. <laughs> so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So even as we continue talking about these things, you know these things are pertinent in our lives. When we're talking about children and their success and their transitions in life and what they're going to do to contribute to society, to be able people who are productive in society, these are pertinent issues. These are issues that even every country has a whole ministry dedicated to. Okay, Not even one ministry. There is a ministry for education. And then there's the ministry for gender and sports and, and st- stuff like that. Okay? So we, we, these are important stuff. But the thing is that it starts with us where we are from. Each and every one of us has an experience on being raised as a child. You have an experience, whether it's good or bad. Even whether it's, when it's good, you know there are some aspects that could have been tweaked. Could have gone better, could have been done better knowing knowing what you now know. And so we were asking ourselves yesterday, given a choice between a street smart child and a book smart child, which one will you take? See, in 2020, immediately after COVID, several countries went on lockdown in a bid to control the spread of coronavirus. And effectively, their schools were shut down and uh, kids were sent back home. The internet was used overly by many institutions to continue teaching the children while the lockdowns were in place. And all of a sudden, Booksmart was under threat. Or was it? Before we can just even go deeper into this, let us make a distinction here between these two. Book smart and street smart. What exactly do I mean when I say book smart? What do people mean when they say book smart? And what do I mean when I talk about street smart? For the sake of argument, finally I'm going to reveal, but it's for the sake of argument, book smart is simply being academically, that's the key word, academically 
astute as certified by a school system having passed their relevant qualifications or relevant examinations with flying colors that is what book smart is all about that's for the sake of argument it is being academically astute right and being certified by that particular system that you went through but having passed their relevant requirements in terms of examinations with flying colors you are book smart and i can see very many people falling off the train right now and thinking man what are you talking about but frankly i do not know of any other definition of book smart generally speaking i think this is what is generally accepted the world over but let's talk about being street smart and this one is where intrigue comes in to be street smart however is one is filled with this uncanny understanding of what works and what is required in terms of what people need and what solutions can be offered in relation to what capacity they have in themselves and how they can leverage that bridge and make a living or earn a living and be fulfilled in life that's what smartness is all about it's a mouthful but you, you there are keywords there there is a keyword of solutions there's a keyword of what the world needs there's a keyword of how prepared i am what capacity do i have there's a keyword of solving there's a keyword of amalgamating all those two ends together in order to make a living to make a living is the end result but you see to make a living is also the end result of the system of being book smart and we end up having these two in parallel could there be a way we can merge book smartness and street smartness that will be the day in fact by the way even as i speak there are very many people who have what the so-called alternative education i have a friend who runs an enterprise called isere education that's the only person okay not the only person this uh, this another person that i know who's who she's called miss math tutor actually i interviewed her in this uh, episodes uh, one of these wednesdays i interviewed her and uh, you know the, these guys are offering alternative education so that they are actually delving into the side of street smartness they teach things like communication they think things things like uh, they teach things like um, public speaking they think they teach things like uh, design thinking you know the street smartness the preparedness of knowing and seeing what is needed and anticipating what is going to be needed by a child i mean the child is being taught these things so that they are prepared to be solution providers here on earth that is what street smartness is all about do you, do, you, do you see how interesting it is it is so interesting that we have looked at book smartness and we're thinking that it's missing something it's mit- missing street smartness and I, i i want to find out really i want to find out if the people who are involved in street smartness are looking around and thinking we are missing book smartness that is the conundrum that is the paradox ha huh, i don't want to go there i really don't want to go there so to be street smart to be street street smart is a tongue twister for me ladies and gentlemen it's a wide range of abilities that involve the reading itself yeah the books it involves reading books but not necessarily the academic type not necessarily the ones that you will need to sit for an examination and qualify and pass with flying colors so if i was given a choice choose between street smart and book smart as you can see for me the choice is straightforward it is obvious that i would rather 
be a street smart person than just be a book smart person. And some years back I read a character called Jim Farley. His father passed away in an accident when he was just about 10 years of age, Jim Farley. And consequently, Jim Farley never saw the inside of a high school or a college. But by the time he was 46 years of age, he had been honored by four colleges with honorary degrees. He handled the campaign for Delano, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt so astutely that I mean, the man was elected president. Jim Farley was indeed the more street smart than he was the more book smart. But why should we be talking about street smartness? And I'm going to start talking about why street smartness before we can even say how we can be able to raise these people to be street, street smart. Why? Now, I'm going to give a caveat here and I'm going to give an underlying thing here. We are not against academics. We are asking, is it working? Okay? If it was working, why would we need quote-unquote alternative education? So let us go continue listening to this uh, let us continue making these discussions, having these discussions. Let us continue sharing uh, this episode with as many people as possible. Let us have our consciousness pricked with these messages, even as we are raising our children. Tomorrow we continue. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.